Tonight, growing outrage in Uvalde, Texas, as we learn more about the delayed police response to the deadly school shooting. The police chief blamed for the inaction now identified. New details about how the Border Patrol defied his orders to finally act and enter the classroom. Plus, these photos of Uvalde police holding a school shooter drill just months ago. Why weren't proper procedures followed? While today, the town pauses to remember those lives lost. Boiling point, protests outside the NRA convention and across the country. This activist dragged away after confronting Senator Ted Cruz at a restaurant. Today, the president and vice president vow to act on gun control. Russia's major advancement in Ukraine, what Vladimir Putin said in calls with key Western leaders. Allegations of widespread price gouging as the baby formula shortage gets even worse. What parents can do to fight back. New rental car warning as the summer travel season kicks off. You may have a confirmed reservation, but they may not have your car. Just had no cars, and they just clearly overbooked. And on this Memorial Day weekend, the man turning veterans' houses into homes. This is NBC Nightly News with Jose diaz Ballard. Good evening, I'm Kristen Welker, in for Jose. As the Memorial Day weekend gets underway, the anger is growing as we learn new details about what happened inside Robb Elementary School, while law enforcement waited nearly an hour to move in on the shooter who claimed 21 lives. We now know the name of the police chief who gave the order to wait, and we learned that he and his department participated in active shooter drills just months ago. So many asking tonight why the children inside were doing what they were trained to do, hiding and calling 911. Why didn't the police follow their training? There are also moving memorials today, grief-stricken families united in song. And President Biden is set to meet with survivors and relatives there tomorrow. We have it all covered tonight, beginning with Morgan Chesky in Uvalde. Mm. Up next, a deadly boat crash and now the search for survivors. Plus, the new warning about price gouging as the baby formula shortage grows even worse. We are back now with news from overseas and Russia's new attacks on Ukraine. This video shows what appears to be a missile attack on a solar power plant in the eastern Kharkiv region. Well, still ahead, a summer travel warning for anyone trying to rent a car. Why a reservation is no guarantee. What you need to know before you book. The busy summer travel season is now underway, and that means more people are renting cars. But many trips are turning into travel nightmares as customers learn their reservations aren't getting them a set of wheels. Kathy Park explains why. Good to see they made it together. Well, when we come back, one man's moving mission to make homes for heroes. There is good news tonight on this Memorial Day weekend about helping our nation's heroes and one California man giving those who served all the comforts of home and a brighter future. That is paying it forward on this Memorial Day weekend. And John hopes to eventually expand his organization nationwide. That's NBC Nightly News for this Saturday. I'll see you back here tomorrow night. I'm Kristen Welker. Thank you for watching. Have a good night. Starting Monday, it's a royal celebration on today. We're live in London for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee Week as excitement builds for this historic anniversary. Your insider ticket to the big event starting Monday on today.